Jared's face in real life, like, real life was, like, sculpted by the gods. Ugh. So beautiful. So beautiful. Can I tell you what the first day hanging out with Jared was like? So I remember I showed up to Rhode Island and I'm like, I'm in the lobby. Um, I had just got off my flight. I booked my flight out there because we were friends before, like for like a year. Good friends for like a year. He would hit me up, tell me things like if he had issues, whatever. I'd give him advice. Like I was older, so I knew like different things. I also just knew the industry too. So I was just like, yeah, it's cool. Like blah, blah, blah. So we were just cool. I saw a lot of potential in him and didn't want him to like ever feel like down you know what I mean so I was like one of those friends that like was a pick me up for him and um I remember him being like oh I'm in Rhode Island come out if you want blah blah, blah. I know that you're from Jersey but I know that you're in blah blah I used to live in Tennessee um I was like well my girl's out there I can always just like go see you and then go go ahead and drive to you know where I used to live like hour away and boom I'm good to go hang out with my like friends, home people, whatever. So I bought my flight. I went out there, like literally, like bought my own flight. I don't give a fuck. Like you're not buying my flights. No, what? Like we're going out there. We're friends. Like so, I bought my own flight. Went out there. Um, we were just having a good time. All of us, all his friends. Um, all like. Um, that's when I met Sean and Chris, um, and we were all really good friends then, um, having a great night, Jerry performed so well, they were, like, so stoked, like, wow, Ali, you, like, like, you know, him being here right now just brought, like, so much good energy, like, this is that, and then, like, we go later on, I'm back to the hotel, and we're all drinking, we're all drinking, chilling, and, uh, you know, smoking, and, um, we're like, all right, we're gonna go back up to the hotel room, so me and Jared go back up to the hotel room, he finishes the bottle of Hennessy, or whatever he was drinking, on the way up, like, there was, like, this much left, like, he just starts, ch like, if you know Jared, if you've ever seen Jared at concerts when he drinks at concerts, which I would not let happen. <sighs> but people would sometimes do it. They'd be like, oh, get Jared to drink, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, no, no. Because then I have to deal with drunk Jared later, which is great. But then sometimes I got to just put, like get him in the shower and go to sleep. Because like I said, he would chug the entire bottle. So, he chugs the entire bottle going upstairs, and um, I'm like, hey, you know, I had just got off the flight. I gotta get in the shower. Like, you know, we had, um, literally, even in the room, had two beds, you know what I mean, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he was like, all right, just like, wake me up if I fall asleep, when not, you get out, like, blah, 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 wake me up, we'll watch TV, we'll watch a movie, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. I got into the shower, got out, and he was diagonal across, like, across the bed, like, just passed out across the bed. And I was like, poor Angel, like, why hasn't slept in days? Like, oh my god, like, he just wants to sleep, like, I'm not waking him up. Like, he looks so peaceful sleeping. I was like, I cannot do it. So, I just remember grabbing a pillow and, like, laying like next to him into him and like just sleeping you know and uh the next morning he woke when we woke up he was like you literally slept diagonal with me across the fucking bed you're g as shit like why didn't you just wake me we would just like we could have just fell asleep and i was like bro you were so tired like you need sleep you need rest like you need to eat like can we get like when can we make you breakfast like we got to get you something like you need some kind of like sleep and energy and like just uh and we had to get on a plane ride and go all the way across the country so like i was like you need to get something in your system you drank a whole bottle last night like trying to get him good um got him good we got on the flight and went to the um rolling loud in oakland 
and that was the first time me and Jay ever popped out together. And by that time, it was like, I want to say, like, we were together, hanging out for, like, four days now. Um, and obviously, that's when things had changed from us being friends to more than that. Um, and then he had left to go to tour overseas, and I had my passport coming, but um, not... Like, I met Jared. Before I met Jared, I already signed up and got my passport coming for other things. And um, he was like, no, it needs to be rushed. And he literally called Canada and, like, had me call, like, on two-way and, like, have them ship it and, like, all this crazy shit so I can get out to him. And it was so wild. And I remember just being like, wow, I've never left the country. I have to leave the country right now. And, like... I've never done this. I'm doing it by myself. And I'm going to do everything by myself. But going out of the country by yourself, I just didn't know the direction. So I remember, like, going through everything. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm, like, walking through. And then I just see, like, this kid jumping, running towards me. And it's obviously Jay. And I was like, oh, my God. It was worth it. <laughs> and he never let me leave after that. He, we always tell a joke. The joke is in this, like, the group, like, Jared kidnapped me. Because I never went back to my house. I never got any of my clothes. Nothing. Not, I never got my car back. Nothing. I, Jared got someone to pick up my dogs and bring them to LA. Um, and he bought me all new stuff and was like, no, you're just staying here. You can't go. And I was like, okay. And I was here every day, every second ever since but I'd be in the room and so I'd be here when like like all the time but Jared would spend a lot of time in the studio and since we're together all the time I'd like to get in his space um in the studio to do what he wanted um, and create what he wanted sometimes I'd be in there um he'd ask me to come in there or I'd just go in there um and you know he'd make songs about me and he'd just I'd sit there and like lay on his lap and he'd just sing and just I miss those times. Yeah. Those were. Yeah. Okay. Those times because he recorded so much, like That's daily. He recorded God. daily. He made sure he did things. Like, it was like, just like you brush your teeth daily, like Jared recorded daily. I would like beg him for days, like, can yeah. you not record tonight yeah. or blah, 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 just so that he could yeah. rest because, like, he would spend a lot of time in the studio because the studio is right here in the house um which is fine you know what i mean but like as someone who goes on tour and as someone who does things you do need to get your rest like that's a big thing you know so i would like drag him and yell at sometimes like get the fuck in bed like 4 a.m in bed was the time if you're not in bed at 4 a.m and i wake up everyone knew there's a problem. Jared needs to be in bed. He would go up however early in the morning he wants to record all day if he wanted to, all night till 4 a.m. 4 a.m., your ass is in bed and you're sleeping. And I'd make sure he ate before he went to bed. We'd order a bunch of random shit like chicken or like blueberry things. I don't even know. But yeah. So. Yep. That's my story and stories. <laughs> About how Jay and I spent our first night together. <laughs> he was so like, I have this video I've been waiting to share with you guys. He's, it's the first video I ever took of him. And... He's singing a future song, I think. I think it is right now. I'm high, so I can't remember. Um, and the smile he has on his face just... Uh. I remember right before he went on stage, I had just, like, I had just came in earlier, like, a couple hours earlier, maybe, like, two hours earlier. We smoked a couple blunts, and then we went to the green room for him to perform. And um, I remember right before he went out, like, I'm Spanish. I'm... I know you guys always ask what my nationality is. My mom is Puerto Rican and German, and my dad is black. Um, and 
Yeah. So like, but I grew up with my Spanish side. Yeah. Um, and then this is just how we are. It's like kiss on the forehead, kiss on the cheek. It's just a Spanish gesture. You know what I mean? Like anyone who's Puerto Rican or any kind of Spanish, you know. Um,